Hey friends, it's Ash. Welcome back to a new video. So today I thought I would show you guys how I edit my Instagram photos because I have a very specific aesthetic. My friends call it an Ash aesthetic. My Instagram theme is decent at best, but I use a very specific filter and I have like all of these different settings on it that I use for every single photo, so I thought, why not show you guys? Before I get into how I edit my photos, be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below. You can find it if you have eyes. And hit me up on Instagram, because that's the whole point of this video, basically. So, alright, we're just gonna get right into it, because I have nothing more to say for this intro. Okay, let's uh, do a little screen recording. So the first thing I'll probably show you guys is what my Instagram actually looks like if you're not following it, which you totally should because like what are you doing? So this is what my Instagram feed looks like. It's pretty basic, nothing special about it, but you can probably see that I use the same filter for every photo and it suits each photo pretty well if you just play around with little certain things about it. So I normally like cooler tones on my pictures and I like the colors to be a little more pop in. Sure, that's a good adjective for it. Yeah, I stick with the same filter and settings for all of my pictures except like black and white videos like this which we're not gonna show because that's a cringy singing video. So the main app that I use to edit my Instagram photos with is Visco or VSCO Cam. I don't know exactly how you pronounce it, but I've always said Visco, so that's what we're gonna do for today. And I already have all of these pictures imported that are totally natural, no edits to them whatsoever, besides maybe like cropping or rotation, you know, stuff like that. So I'll start with this picture that I took of the vessel in Hudson Yards. So I actually already have like my Ash aesthetic saved as a recipe or, or a preset, which you can do if you have the paid version of Visco. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you guys step by step. So there are a lot of filters that I really like using on Visco. Like um, T2, I really like if I want it to be faded. Um, F2, I did for a very long time and that was like eighth grade. HP1 and HP2 are also the really cool ones that I like. But the one that I've been using the most right now is A6. I don't know what I like about it, I just like it. But I don't put the filter all the way up just because I feel like it's a bit too strong, so I bring it down to like an 8.5. Okay, so for like exposure and contrast and all those other settings, I like to do exposure last just because depending on the other settings, exposure can look really good or really bad. So first thing I like to start with is contrast, and I bring that up to like a 1. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but I cannot have my settings on like a weird number, like a 1.9. No, that's disgusting. It has to be like 1 to 1.5, stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just weird. But yeah, so contrast is brought up to a 1, and then clarity is also brought up to a 1. Oh, that's not. Yeah. There you go. That's 1. So yeah, it looks like that so far. And then since I like my pictures to have more cooler tones, I go into white balance, and I bring the temperature down to like a 3-ish. Like, yeah, like that. And then I also like my pictures to be a little more pink, so I bring the tint up to like a 2. Yeah, that works. So yeah, that's basically like everything that I do to my photos, but if I feel like it would look better with the exposure like up or down, then I mess around with that. Um, I personally like the exposure just like a little bit down, so like maybe a negative 0.5. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. And then we just save that, and woohoo! We have my aesthetic. Um, so like I said before, I already have this saved as like a preset for my other photos. So really, I just go into my recipes and click that, and just play around with like the exposure and stuff to see how I like it. I actually like it just at zero for this picture. And yeah. And then another thing I like to do is just copy edits and paste it on all of my other photos and it, you see it just copies all of the edits onto my other photos and then if i think it looks bad like on this one this could be a little more bright 
might bring up the exposure just a little bit. And yeah, so I basically stick to the same thing each time. I just play around with like exposure and stuff because depending on how the picture is, it could look good or it could look bad. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So that was how I edit my Instagram photos. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to this point in the video, you are a very good human. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!